Fertility for me is the key driver of profit on, the, on, on this farm. Tail painting on heifers never seems to work. Anything I've used on heifers doesn't seem to work. On cows, we really have to be very, very good on the tail paint and very, very good at watching them to, to, to get everything right. Where our submission rates uh, have been quite good, our conception rates have been quite good, um, we're still losing maybe on calving interval, which is telling me that we're not picking every cow up when we should be picking every cow up, and our calving interval is close to 400 when it should be nearer to 365. Every missed heat like, is costing me a lot of money. It means the cow doesn't calve for maybe three weeks or six weeks later next year. And I suppose in an encore situation, you know, you need a cow in, a, in as many days of milk as you possibly can. Also, you know, I, I need cows calving to grass. So I suppose a cow calving, you know, to me in February, early March every year is very important. Uh, cows that run late in April and May, you know, are also costing me money. And as a result, they're actually decreasing my protein and the overall herd because they're actually low when the rest of the herd is picking up. So, you know, I suppose it's a double loss really for me. So it's very important that I get all the heats when the cow is in heat and to make sure that I'm inseminated at the right time. That led me to look at the moo monitors um, to see as well to know what could they add to the farm system that I have here and could they deliver, I suppose, something to me on the bottom line at the end of the year. So I've just recently started with them. With the heat alerts in it, with the rumination in it, with the feeding in it, and I suppose just with the, the high intensity activity that, the, that was delivered back to me on the graphs as well with the cows uh, was very, very important. It was more the accuracy of the heat and when a cow should be inseminated. Certainly looking at the more monitor results as well now, every cow seems to have a different time where she should be AI'd and inseminated. I suppose semen costs money and I know that if I can, if I may iron at the right time, well I know that uh, that job is definitely done uh, correctly. We're two weeks in from having them on and I think we have uh, 64 cows this morning that have picked up in heat and also that I have seen in heat, so it just means the moon monitor is actually 100%. I'm here a lot of the time, but we also have staff working here. We have uh, staff milking here as well at different times, and I suppose their job is milking only, that they will not be viewing heats, they will not be viewing maybe cows that are sick, cows that are off farm, cows that are not feeding. Um, and I suppose this is where the moon monitor will really come into its own. An interesting one came up maybe, uh, I think it was on day eight. The cow came in in the last row of milking. I was milking the same day, and um, she normally would come in maybe towards the beginning of milking. And um, I just said to myself, we keep that cow in after milking. And um, I suppose as I was over having the breakfast, I just looked at the phone and the number one came up under behaviour alert. And when I went into it, uh, lo and behold, it was the exact same cow that I kept in. And it informed me that she had been uh, resting all night since she went out yesterday evening. And she had done no rumination and no feeding um, since two o'clock the previous afternoon. So I suppose it was great to see again that the monitor confirmed maybe what I had seen. And now suddenly it gives me great confidence that when I'm away from the yard, and maybe I'm not actually one of the workers on the farm at the time, that things will be still looked after. And if there is an animal off farm or an animal sick, that uh, we will be notified. If you can spare one veterinary call in a year, and maybe the monitor can spare numerous veterinary calls in the year, but even one veterinary call could be two or three hundred euro, not to mind what a couple of calls could be. It may mean like solving a problem before it happens. Um, and suddenly, like a problem maybe becomes a challenge and not a problem at all. And a challenge is always something that you can overcome. So in the long run, I think the moon monitor will come into its own um, monitoring the health status of my herd. The app on the phone is very simple to use, easy to manage, um, and certainly very legible for me. And I'm no expert on phones or computers like that, but it's, um, it's very simple for me to actually manage the system at the minute. You know, with a young family and with a large number of cows, with the herd number increasing, there's only so many hours in the day. There's certainly so, only so many hours in the day that you can actually work. So I suppose I'm going to be eagerly looking forward to that period coming ahead. You know, that we won't actually be physically spending the time either on the field or maybe, you know, traveling to the paddock at half nine, ten o'clock at night where we can, you know, pick it up on the phone. We're just after coming from a busy, you know, calving season and um, suddenly before you know it, you're into a very busy AI season. And I suppose it would be great to reduce the time, but to actually be able to reduce the time and still know that you're doing the job better than what you did it before in less time. Like that has to be worth a lot.